Hi, this is Sahana. In this video, we are going to understand the difference between string and string builder in C Sharp. In C Sharp, string is a data type that represents a sequence of characters. It is used to store and manipulate text data. Even string builder represents string of characters, but it is not a data type in C Sharp. It is a class provided by .NET that allows you to work with and manipulate strings efficiently. If you want to use string data type, then you will write string and you will declare a variable. That's it. Here, name is a string type variable. But if you want to use string builder, then you should use the class string builder. The string builder class is inside system.text namespace. So if you want to use this class, then you should import this namespace. Then C. String Builder is a class. If you want to use String Builder, then you have to create instance of String Builder. Here we have created instance of String Builder. If both of them serve the same purpose, what is the main difference between String and String Builder? Main difference is mutability. Strings in, strings in C Sharp are immutable, meaning that once a string is created, it cannot be changed. Any operation that appears to modify a string actually creates a new string instance. However, string builder is mutable, which means you can modify its content without creating new instances of the string. It provides methods for appending, inserting, replacing and removing characters in the underlying string. I will declare new string. I will say string message. If I assign the value, then new string will be created if i declare one more variable i'll say string name even now one more string will be created if i concatenate two strings if i say if i will declare one more string type variable if i concatenate these two strings that means if i join these two strings then new string will be created. Now I will try to update the string. I will update this greeting string. I will call replace method. I will replace Ria with another name. Now we think if we think the same string will be updated then it is wrong. As we have discussed earlier string is immutable that means once you create a string we cannot change the content of the string when we use replace method on a string it does not modify the existing string instead it creates a new string with the specified replacements and returns the new string thinking what happens to the old string the old string remains unchanged in the memory until it is garbage collected if I want to use string builder, then I should create new instance of string builder. We can assign the value using append method. We have string builder, then we have to call append method, then we should pass the value. I will pass hello. Then if I want to store one more value, then again I will call this string builder instance. I will call append method and I will pass the value. Each time we append something, new instance will not be created. Values will be added to the same instance. If you want to print the string builder, then we should call to string method. I'll show you. If you want to, if you want to print the string builder, then call this string builder dot to string method. This will convert the value to string. String Builder automatically adjusts its internal buffer size to accommodate the required length of the resulting string. This information is from MSDN. This clearly sees how String Builder class adjusts its internal memory. You can pause the video and you can read it. This is really nice information. The choice between using String and String Builder depends on specific requirements of your code. If your string doesn't need to change and you are only performing operations that create new strings without modifying the existing one, then using string is appropriate. If you need to build 
concatenate or modify a string multiple times, especially within a loop, then string builder is more efficient. It avoids creating multiple objects. We can conclude that for simple string operations, using the string data type is perfectly fine. When you are dealing with large amount of string data or complex modifications to a string, then string builder is more efficient choice. I hope this session was useful. Thanks for your time. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.